Hey there, one of the perhaps biggest misconceptions about a PhD is that there's gonna be somebody watching over you every step of the way and holding you accountable at all times. But I think this is not right because um, this is your PhD and you have to assume responsibility for it. Now, this doesn't mean that you won't get all kinds of help from all kinds of people, including your mentor, your mentor team, or other lab members or lab technicians or more senior PhD students. Hopefully you will and you're in a suitably supportive environment so that that takes place. But in the end, the success of that PhD and what you make out of it, out of the opportunity that you also have and the challenges, that's mostly up to you. For one, there is no real one typical <laughs> situation in which you may find yourself as a PhD student, you may be in any kind of different scenario as a student really. You may actually be in a situation where people, including your mentor, very, very closely watch over you and follow your every single step, but again, you may not be. Some supervisors will very closely follow your progress and look over your shoulders all the time, but some other supervisors, depending on their style and personality, will mostly leave you alone until you actually approach them and ask for assistance or help or input on a certain topic. Some supervisors will ask you for weekly written reports. I do, for example, but some supervisors may not. You may be part of an externally funded project, like a grant, and for that, there may have to be the delivery of regular progress reports. Then again, you may not be. You may be funded in different ways. Some mentors will try to organize everything surrounding your PhD. For example, also when you need help at certain peak times during your project, for example, during a setup of an experiment or its harvest. But oftentimes they will not. So it will be up to you to plan ahead and recognize, for example, when you need help and then to organize that help yourself. You may be in a lab where a um, PI or another senior PhD student very closely watches over you and gives you constant input, or maybe you may not be because you're also maybe in a very small lab or perhaps in a big lab, people are gonna be super busy and they simply can't take care of you all the time, basically. You might be in a system where you, during the first one or two years, take a lot of courses. So then you are in a situation that you're more familiar with from, for example, your bachelor's or maybe also your master's. And then again, you may find yourself in a PhD system where there is no coursework, like many of the programs here in Germany, for example. And then that <laughs> oversight and accountability and constant feedback that comes with coursework is still there for you. Then again, it may not be. So you can already see, these are just some examples. <laughs> you may find yourself in, in any kind of these scenarios and they all imply more or less oversight or accountability. In the end though, it will always depend on you. At some point, of course, in any of the situations, you will have to write a progress report. For example, if you have a scholarship, you may file a report there or if you're part of a funded project that your PI got, then you may be involved in writing of the report for that, or you may have to regularly have meetings as part of the graduate school requirements. But you have to realize these are very infrequent. They are just, you know, typically once a year or so. And therefore this is too infrequent to provide a clear structure of oversight and accountability, which is why you have to provide that structure also yourself which means you will need to keep track of your progress. For example, by writing it down and then seeing how you are really progressing in your work. You can think of a PhD as a relatively complex project to manage a project that lasts like, lasts like about three or four years. So this is a, a, a project management problem, if you will, or it's at least one way to look at this. And the management of this project is really mostly up to you. I think that general lack of constant oversight and maybe constant feedback and constant external accountability is maybe the biggest change 
that you will encounter if you start with a PhD compared to your experience, for example, from a bachelor and maybe also from a master's where everything was more closely watched over, basically. So you shouldn't underestimate this challenge and you should also really take it not just as a challenge but also an opportunity because one of the purposes of a, of a PhD training is of course to also grow you as an independent scientist. Now don't misunderstand everything that I've just said to mean that you are on your own. <laughs> you are left completely unsupervised. This is of course not the case. You will be hopefully in a very supportive lab environment. So you'll be a member of a team. You will have hopefully a very supportive PhD supervisor that's sensitive to your needs and when you actually need help. There is always plenty of people that you can ask for help like other lab members, maybe also other profs, for example, other people on your committee, on your thesis committee, or maybe even external collaborators that are important for particular aspects of your work, for example, certain techniques. But still, in the end, the success of this entire thing, this journey of your PhD, it will mostly depend on you. So it's important for you to really take on that responsibility. And with that, I hope that perspective was useful for you. I wish you all the best for your PhD journey. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye.